by far my favorite WordPress plugin is the SEM Rush SEO Writing Assistant. This plugin I like even more than Yoast SEO because it just has such a comprehensive way to analyze your text. So let's go ahead and look at installing this today in our WordPress website. So as always, let's go on the left hand side here to plugins, add new, and we're going to type in SEM Rush Writing Assistant. There you go. Upper left hand corner, we have it by SEM Rush. So go ahead and click on install and activate. On the next page, there is actually going to be no settings for us to change. This is just an install and go plugin. So let's go to one of our posts now and see how this plugin actually works. So uh, this one looks good, Kick Serial. So go ahead and edit that. And once this page loads, we'll scroll down below. Like the previous video we dealt with before, here's the Yoast SEO plugin. That's all good and taken care of. But down below that, you'll see the SEM Rush SEO Writing Assistant. Now, the first thing we want to do is log into our account. If you don't have an SEM Rush account, you can go ahead and register. I will warn you up front here that this is a subscription plan for one of these accounts. The minimum you can pay for this account, the lowest level, is $99 a month. I highly, highly recommend an SEM Rush account if you're serious about blogging and if you want your results to show up on the first page of Google. I've seen tremendous amounts of progress since registering with SEM Rush and using their content analysis tools. It's and this is just a very small piece of it. This WordPress plugin. There's so much more. We'll see a little bit of that today, but we won't go into it too much. Um, anyway, go ahead and either log in or register for this plugin. So once that's all done, you'll see up top here that we are now logged in with SEM Rush. So the first thing you want to do is go down here and click this button that says create new recommendations. And what we're going to do here is type in your target keyword. In my case, it's kick serial. Once you have that done, go ahead and click on get recommendations. And after about, uh, you know, less than a minute or so, we'll start to see things change on the page here. And there you go. So we have an overall score of 8.2 out of 10, and that is pretty good. It's in the green zone. And similar to the Yoast SEO plugin, the way SEM Rush gets this value is it looks at a whole bunch of different attributes, which we'll go through right now. So first up, under the readability category, we have a readability score of 59.1, which is fairly difficult, but the target is 61.4, so we're not too far off from that. That's why we have the green value there. It says it's comparable to a 10th or a 12th grade level education, so that looks good for us right there. Right below that, it says there are six hard to read sentences, and it's just giving you a little bit more detail about how it's coming up with that score. And it shows you those sentences right there. We have two long words that's up for debate, but that's what SEM Rush says. Down below that, we have a word count of 526 words. Again, our target, we are just slightly below that 683 target. Right below that, related questions. These are some of those like snippets that you see sometimes in Google about uh, what other questions people ask when typing in your target keyword to Google. You can do what you want with these. I'm just going to ignore these for now and move on down here to the SEO section. So there's our keyword or target keyword kick serial. If you want to add a new keyword, like I said, you could do that. Just click on the pen here on the right hand side. And then these are the recommended keywords that SEM Rush recommends that you add to your content. So they get these keywords from other results in Google that are targeting your keyword. And the idea here is that if your competitors include these keywords, then maybe you should too. So the ones in green are the ones that we actually have in our content up above. The ones in white are suggestions that we should add. Okay, down below that we have the title. It says our title is good. We have a check mark for that. We have one target keyword used in there. The length of our title is good and it has the right amount of words. So that looks all really good right there. Down below that, we have tone of voice. The tone of voice is neutral, which is apparently okay for this target keyword. Here, SEM Rush says this is our most casual sentence. Down here, SEM Rush is analyzing our links. So, any outgoing links, SEM Rush is checking to see if they resolve to a valid URL and if it's a relevant link that you actually added to your post. So, uh, we got two checkboxes there. That's also good. And then finally, all of our paragraphs seem to be easy to read. So, that is also good. So when you add up all those individual scores, you get that 8.2 out of 10. And like I promised, this right here is the core of the SEM Rush plugin. So right here, it says that the readability score that SEM Rush is suggesting is based on the average for the top 10 competitors on Google for that target keyword. 
So that is super powerful and similar to that down below, the number of words, the target number of words is also the average for the top 10 competitors on Google for that target keyword. Now you can actually do this by yourself. It would take a really long time to Google the target keyword and then go through the top 10 search results on Google and count the number of words and then also figure out the readability score. It, it's certainly possible, but it's just going to take a really long amount of time to do that. And that's where the power of this plugin comes in is the fact that SEMrush does this pretty much instantaneously. I mean, it takes like maybe up to 30 seconds for it to do the analysis, but once it does that, it can continue to do that. And as you come back in here and update your post over time, you'll see the scores change just slightly and you'll be able to act accordingly. So I want to show you that in the SEMrush website. So if we go to SEMrush.com and uh, go ahead and up here in the left-hand corner, go to the SEO toolkit and Right now, I have my two other websites here, TonyFlorida.com and DiamondApp.com. We're going to add a new project. So we're going to go ahead and add Serial.Guru and call the project name Serial Guru. So go ahead and create that project. And this right here is the SEO dashboard. It'll populate once SEMrush has some time to do some analysis, maybe in a day or so. And then in addition to that, if we click on Go to Project, we'll see the overall dashboard for Serial Guru. And like I said, SEMrush is a super powerful tool you have right here on the screen, 12 different tools that you can use to help get your website, get your blog posts on the first page of Google. Everything from brand monitoring to social media tracking to site audits, everything in between. So that's why I'm recommending this tool. Anyway, let's go back and move on to the reason that we came in here to begin with. And that is the SEO content template. So go ahead and click on that on the left hand side. You'll see that already since we signed in, SEMrush knows that we recently targeted the keyword kick serial. So we're going to go ahead and click on view that SEO template. And here's what I was talking about. SEMrush is analyzing these top 10 competitors on Google for the keyword kick serial. Those are those top 10 websites. Here are those related keywords that they suggest you use. Here are some backlinks for these competitors of yours and the readability score of the top 10 and the text length of the top 10 competitors on Google. And you'll see if you scroll down all your competitors here and some more basic recommendations down below. So like I said, I really love this SEMrush tool. I highly recommend it. Yes, it's expensive, but again, if you're serious about blogging, if you want your content to get out there in front of as many people as you possibly can, then I highly recommend this plugin. All right, thanks for watching.